After four days on the road and six full days fighting the California wildfires, our San Angelo firemen have made it back safe and sound. Uh, our main objective was to uh, just to, to mop up, put out uh, any hot spots. So we spent days doing that, just hiking around the, the ridge of the mountains and um, putting out any, any flare-ups that we saw. The men worked 24-hour shifts while controlling the Woolsey Fire, which has burned more than 96,000 acres. Uh, we would get a little bit of rest. We have a two-to-one ratio, work-to-rest ratio, uh, which isn't very long. And, you know, we would get to sleep when we could and get back at it. Hughes and Fisher said the locals were glad that San Angelo was able to help. They needed us. It, it was a scary moment for them. You know, a lot of them are still traumatized by showing up to their houses and there's nothing there. Not even the contents, not a picture, anything. You know, everything was burnt. The, the mountainsides were completely devastated. No trees, no vegetation. This marked the first TIFMIS deployment for SAFD, allowing them to bring home new knowledge for the department. And even out there while we were doing some of our hikes and walks around the ridges, we, we did go over a lot of different things that we don't see in this terrain. Even more than a thousand miles away, they felt the love and support from the citizens of San Angelo. There was a lot of things that we had to deal with emotionally and, you know, physically, but we could feel the prayers. We really could. You know, it gave us strength when we were extremely tired in the middle of the night working and, you know, allowed us to just kind of relax to know that the people here were thinking about us. For News Connection, I'm Aaron Bailey.